I recently sat down with Ryan Mack, the president of Optimum Capital Management, and asked him a few questions about how to get out of debt, find financial freedom, and start building wealth. Here are his tips. Let's face it, if you're living in the U.S. and want to make any significant purchase, you're going to have to incur debt. With all of the wonderful things you can buy, why then does debt seem like a bad thing? For too long, too many individuals were purchasing things with money they didn't have to, to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak. And that's just not the most responsible way to go about it. Our, in, in the U.S., uh, our savings rate has been dismal for many years now. And in uh, 2003, 2004, the savings rate was actually negative. That was because uh, people were spending more money than they earned every single month. Over 60% of this country was operating their household in a, in a deficit. Uh, if you have to go into your pocket for a credit card, uh, it, it's not an emergency and it's not a necessity, um, and you can't afford that, you can't pay it back, then do you really need to use that credit card at that point in time? Uh, I mean, uh, leveraging and, and debt can be good, and can be effective, can be useful, but it has to be done in a responsible way. We have not been responsible with it, so we have to be real with ourselves. Most credit card purchases are not out of necessity, they're out of luxury. Over 85% of every dollar spent in the USA is spent on consumption, and the consumption essentially is, is buying things that decrease in value, have no value at all, as opposed to putting money in places that, that can actually enhance your value, investments, businesses, school, education, those type of things. Uh, and so we were not really cognizant of our spending patterns and how destructive they really were. Is that the average uh, purchase over time, when you figure out the interest, costs 112 percent more. So you spend 135 dollars initially. $135, then you might have to pay, pay as much as $260 when you pay after interest, after, after you finally paid off the higher interest rates and whatnot. So again, how we use these things, if we understand how the credit card works, they make money off of us using their money. So they're not in it for the, the benevolent purposes. They're in it to make a whole lot of money. So we need to make sure that every time we reach into our pockets, that credit card is being used for emergency purposes, one, or uh, to build your credit. Okay, because 15% of your FICO score, your credit score, is your length of credit history. So go to the grocery store. If it costs you $30, you have the money in your account, take the credit card, swipe it through, and then within seven days, go online and pay that card back. That helps you establish a credit history. If you can't establish credit history, go to bankrate.com. Don't fill it out on the plane. Go to bankrate.com and do your own research about the best type of credit cards that you need to use that's going to fit your no fees, uh, see what sort of APR they're going to charge initially. A lot of times, people don't understand when you fill out those applications, you know, you're losing five to six points off your FICO score, or your credit score, just for the simple fact that they have to check your credit to see if you're eligible to get this card. So uh, that is about 10% of your FICO scores. Every time someone has to check your credit, then your FICO score goes down. So we have to be very cautious about even do we need that particular credit card. I don't think that credit cards in itself are bad. I think a lot of their practices are bad. Uh, that they've had, uh, you know, they had legislation that recently came out and cleaned a lot of those practices up. But at the same time, it's how we use them. We can't always put the, the fault on them when we're the ones going into our pockets and using the credit cards when we don't necessarily have to use them all the time. Tune in to part two of Financial Freedom with Ryan Mack, where Ryan describes methods we can use to eliminate our debt. We saved hundreds of, uh, hundreds of dollars each and every month off credit card payments because we were very aggressive in calling and negotiating with that credit card.